Tomboy by Pronsky Beat. If you want to see how I done it, coming up. Yeah, so I guess you heard that song before. So, okay, I'm going to use my um, my boutiques for this. Uh, it's all lined up here. And also I have some uh, behind me here as well. It's the JX 8P boutique. Uh, I'm going to use that one. I'm going to use the JO06A. And I'm going to use, of course, my... Uh, D50 or the D05, um, the SH01 and the JP08, it's Jupiter 8 actually. Yeah, so let's just uh, get on with it. All right, it's gonna be cool. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna start with my bass track. As you can see here, I lined up uh, all my tracks here already just so you didn't have to sit and watch like one hour with me setting up everything. So I'm going to start with the bass, I think. Uh. Yeah, I did a few mistakes, I guess. But uh, we'll fix that. That's one. Just remove the mistakes, and uh, that's the bass actually. Yeah, and it goes like this for the whole song. For the whole song, except from one part here. I'm gonna find that and I'm gonna record the bass. It's here. actually the whole base for the song so what I do I record what I just played because uh, now I just recorded the MIDI and I'll re I will record uh, the track as well and do like this that's the bass line for the middle part and the bass line for the first part is here. Okay, that's actually the bass. It's now ready to go. I will just now copy it like this. Copy, 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 copy over there. This is like, uh, <laughs> it's almost like Lego <laughs> copying. And then it's this part again. For this long, I think. I think so, yeah. Okay, and then it's back to this one again. And that's the whole song. So now we have the bass. Let's do some drums. The drums are changing a little bit uh, throughout the song. It starts with just a simple beat. With a tambourine. The tambourine and the kick and the snare. And sometimes a clap. But we just do the tambourine and the kick and the snare right now. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's the first part. I do the verse then. Yeah. Okay, they half the speed there.
Okay, and there, uh, in this part, the, the snare drum will also come in. Okay, and the drums just continue like this throughout the verse as well. Yeah, I forgot the tambourine. Drums, by the way, is from my um, TR8S from Rola. And the next uh, sound is coming from my. I just have to take away my wires. Yeah, it's coming from uh, this one, the boutique. SH, SH01A. I can have a close up. Uh, it's not so close up, but it's this one. Okay. a pad part also over here so I'll just record the pads here yes and after this riff the pad comes in again So what I was saying, um, the drums, they are a bit, uh, I just put on a compression, just do uh, some easy inside of Cubase. We can do this one, vintage compressor, then it sounds more on the tube one. So I'm going to do some overdrive on it as well. This is cool. Yeah, cool. And uh, one other trick is to, um, and this is very important, because in the pad now, I guess it's, um, let's see, let me just solo this one before I solo everything. <laughs> Yes, as you can see here, on the equalizer, we have some frequencies way down below. And that just messes up your mix. So I normally just cut them away like this. We 
because now it's more space for the bass as well. We can do the marimba. The marimba. That one. That just uh, repeats itself two times. Yeah, I did a mistake. This one. This one. <laughs> okay. The wrist looks okay. to say the marimba sound is coming from um, this one the d50 the d50 is the marimba i just love the d50 it's a great great synth so the marimba is from this one you can't almost you can't see it because it's black but it's uh, i should have a close up but this is what you get the first time, at least. Next time I will have an extra camera to have close-up stuff. That'll be cool. Okay, so uh, the strings. I'm using my JX3P for the strings. Then we do it like this. that video that was actually my first twitch stream ever so i hope you enjoy that see you soon